Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Behind Closed Doors podcast. Today, I'm completely by myself because Jess is ill today, so it, it's just me. That's probably why it's such a shambles, but yeah, we we got um, well, v- very good person in here. <laughs> Want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom Stockdale. You may know me from KSI, or if you're really OG, Will Any Comics song. That's when the really early people know me. Oh. But yeah... I'm the guy that makes up the mediocre songs off the top of my head, but people like them, so oh, it, it's pretty they're, cool. They're not mediocre, they're, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man, I appreciate it. I remember, what's it called, back in um January or so, I remember it was your um like Discord thing where people would go in and then you'd make up random songs on the spot. Yeah. Oh, I remember that, what's it called, I remember me and my mate went in there, and that was fun. Yeah. Talented man. Yeah, that was fun. Right? Talented Thank man. you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, first first question. I actually took I actually took notes for once in my life. This is good. A- anyone actually yeah. knows me thinks, wow, they actually wrote something down. Don't even do this normally. So, first thing is, mm-hmm. I was actually wondering this article because I was looking back at them a few days ago. But like, do you ever look back at like the first like diaries were failure things, and then to now and like see the difference uh pretty regularly yeah i'm actually making a, a video like a big a video that goes from like the start in everything that's happened over the span of like my youtube like the three journey years, yeah but it's uh yeah it's 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 crazy a three years sounds like no time at all but everything that's changed from when i made my first video to now is just it's something that you never could have like never could have guessed but, i know um, it's cool like you back it's, then to it's, now it's, it's amazing right it's it feels great to look back on like just uh, you can see in those uh, videos just how like soulless i am i'm just so drained and just so sick of being ground down by everything all the time but um carried on and pushed through it and what i hoped uh, for the channel is is what happened that hopefully one day i could look back and be like oh yeah that was a shit time in my life right and it was and now everything's class and it's it's great like <laughs> great uh that's what's cool yeah, because also I was looking at them a few days ago, and it's like, no offense, but that was like you you would hit rock bottom, and yeah, then for sure to now yeah. where it's like, it's just so it's so clear difference, and it's just so good to see, really. Yeah, it's it's like it's, great it's, to see someone who's it. genuinely come from like, well, nothing, and then build themselves up to something that's like what's it called like where you are now, which is yeah, it's like one of those like stereotypical youtube stories like someone who started from nothing and then built their way up and then they're well at the moment i'd say peak yeah well like i've i've done everything i wanted to do on youtube like like i'm not really a massive fan of like the youtube kind of culture it's all like all the cancel all culture like, and stuff and like making friends like, of people yeah. just for views and stuff yeah <laughs> that mainly it's just all all very put on um in uh in genuine and i don't really like it like i'm not knocking people that do that i understand the hustle whatever but that's not what i set out to be like i yeah. wanted to do youtube because it was it's just something that i want to do and like now that's why i don't really like i don't jump on trending topics it's just if i have an idea of a video i want to make i don't care what category it's in i'm, I'm gonna make it that's what i started doing it for yeah well. uh, i i don't care about like clout or fame or any like all of that stuff's nonsense none of that here um i just i just care about being uh, content really and like the the, uh, the type of uh, videos i'm making now i'm doing like it's basically like self-improvement kind of things but it's like obviously i tried every week of meditating there's uh, that was a good video that was a good video yes Uh, like it generally did help as well like in uh in uh, you can see like the difference in my videos if it's something i'm passionate about and i actually enjoy and want to do like i put way more effort in as an effort to like a reaction video or just some, something like, just like nonsense. fill the space or something yeah yeah exactly yeah. i just i don't like doing that even when i'm editing it i just i, I feel it's grim and uh, the video i'm working on now uh, i've been working on it all month i've got like it uh, should be done in like a week or two but basically i've swapped out uh, social media for fitness uh so uh, what i uh, do is like say, well, I'm not doing it now because I'm ill. Like, take some, yeah, just take some better, like, rest, something. 
uh, but like say it's uh, Wednesday today, so I look at my Wednesday screen time last week for Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and then that amount of time I'll put into fitness and learning about nutrition and working out and all of this other stuff. And like, mate, I'm only three weeks in, and there's like a notable change in uh, in my body and how I feel. It's great, so I'm looking forward to like, putting that video together. Yeah, that, that actually sounds pretty good to be fair. Oh, yeah, that sounds like yeah, pretty. It's fun as well, it's more fulfilling, like, because it, it actually feels like there's more of a point to what I'm doing. And there's now. actual, like, so, change compared to what's yeah. cool, like, if you're just on Instagram something, you're just kind of scrolling and just, it's kind of killing time, as the other one, you're actually changing something, it's helping you personally. And, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, and just, uh, being on social media less is good for you. Like, it's, it's all nonsense, mate. Like, it, like everybody talks about... A mental health, right? Like everybody struggles, especially now yeah. with all this nonsense and COVID and stuff, stuff going on. But spending time on social media, one hundred percent makes that worse. Because you just like, like it's just everyone else is it's just negative and all talking down and stuff, and everyone else is putting stuff down. Then it's just you're looking at it really. Yeah, and it's, it's, just, it's just you're feeding into it's just, it. It's just everyone else's negative stuff. Uh, there's a lot of like virtue signaling and stuff, which are, like it's. It's really transparent, and I don't like it. Like, I, I, I really hate to see when people. Um, I tweet about it sometimes, and it gets me in trouble from people that do it. But I don't like it when people try and like moral grandstand and stuff. Like, yeah. It, it, like, I'm not religious, but like, he who is without sin cast the first stone. None of us are perfect. I'm well aware I'm not perfect. And so like, unless like obviously uh, that's extreme. If if someone like beats the girlfriend up, then yeah, you can say you're a wanker for doing that, that's fine. But yeah. then it just, uh, when people are like, like, I don't know, all those like normalized tweets, but, but when it's like totally normal things, like that no one's got a problem with. It's like, just oh, bringing up with just an argument just for the sake of having one. Yeah, well, normalized drinking water. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, who, who doesn't think a drinking water is normal? Like, it's, yeah, and then I get caught up in all of that stuff and it just... Yeah, it ends up winding me up and just making me miserable. So the last time I spend on social media, I definitely feel better. Um, yeah, and but just, cool. I did that for a week. I just didn't go on it at all, and that was, it was, it was weird. It was like, <laughs> what's it called like an addiction that you had to like yeah, fight off. And you kind of feel like you're missing out on something. Yeah, it's like it's just like the anxiety of like what what what's going on? Like what are people doing? Yeah, it's weird. Like. Yeah, like uh, the idea that maybe you'll get left behind, but then uh, you spend a few days on it and you just realise it's it's nonsense. And especially if you're at a point where like you care about like um, interaction and stuff, like and and, and uh, when you are just the only one, ten likes. Like if you're at that point, then you're too far gone. Like, yeah. Like you like need to take a step back. And not, not just it's just it's like just the mentality of what's, what I'm missing out on but even though really you, you get it all in your notifications and you can look back at it once you've what's it called like anyway so yeah, you're not it or not. turns out it was all nonsense anyway not missing out on anything like, like I think after so, a week or so I think I only had like three messages in one thing saying ha you're dumb so <laughs> it's not so I really yeah, missed it, out on much it's, it's, it's strange and like it's a super toxic place as well like I particularly Twitter I do yeah. think Twitter's the worst out of all of it like I, like, I I definitely think Twitter is. It's more like cause and effect and it's very quick compared to like the other ones which are more like Instagram where it's more pages and stuff like that. I just feel like Instagram's very, not Instagram, Twitter's very what's called like you see something someone can instantly reply to it which is addictive in a way but at the same time it's like, it uh, and it's like a bad. game. It's like a, it's like a kind of popularity game and it's just, like ratio and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. it doesn't matter like who's right or wrong. Or like the worst thing about Twitter is it's got rid of nuance or just any any form of nuance or like anything like that. So like there is no way you can articulate a good point in 140 characters or whatever it is. Like that 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 doesn't happen, especially if you're like every time I've got in like trouble on Twitter is when I've I, I've tried to open a conversation about like a big topic, a dangerous topic, and like yeah. I've been called like every phobe in ism in a book, but like, like just from random fifteen-year-olds on Twitter, 
that ha that have got that like I understand they probably think they're doing a good thing and it's probably coming from a good place, but it's just so counterproductive to what they're trying to do. And I only know that because I remember being that. Yeah. Like, in, like in, in behaving uh, that way and, and, and going around. Yeah, like, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm like, I'm bisexual and I'm politically centric. So, like, uh, for a while, every day, I was getting called a homophobe and a faggot. Now, I could be one or the other, can't I? I can't, you can't be both. Like, like, like uh, it's, uh, it's just, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not good to be a man. It's, yeah, and then what's cool, like, going back to, like, all the characters and stuff, is either you give a short answer, then people make fun of you for responding in a short way and that's not genuine, or you do, like, a proper notes thing or a tweet longer and you do all that, and then you get made fun of with writing so much. It's kind yeah. of, there's, there's a no-win situation. It's all no-win situations. That, like, uh, the closest thing to a win that you can get um, is a disingenuous win anyway, because it's, like, a Twitter's an echo chamber, yeah? So there's certain things that you can say that will guarantee to get you certain amounts of interaction. Yeah. Um, there's certain flags that you can wave, and then everyone's like, oh, I stand you, I love you. And, like, it could be as simple as, like, uh, condemning something that everybody already knows is bad. Like, just saying, like, common knowledge, and everyone's like, oh, that guy's relatable. Let's like him. Yeah, hun yeah, Hunter. Uh, uh, when uh, someone tweets, oh, by the way, no means no. So, oh well, fucking cheers for pointing that out. Well, I didn't mate. know that one before. Yeah. It's, oh my, this whole life up up till now, mate. I, like, I thought no men. Yes, I'm in so much trouble. Like, it, like it, it, it's just it's just so ridiculous. So uh, you can do something like that, which is just a genuine nonsense anyway. But like, it's yeah, it's not an accurate uh, reflection of how people actually behave because like, if you spend time on Twitter and then go out into the real world, it's just so it's different. Very, yeah, it's a uh, very rare that you will come across like the same people who like call up people on Twitter life. for stuff. Like if they saw it in real life, they just sit there and do nothing. No, they take a picture and post it on Twitter. It was cool. Like no, because I like I've genuinely seen people like that. It was cool. Who I've like gone to school with, and it's just like online. They were like, "Don't say that. It's horrible." But if someone says it to them in school, they'll just keep their mouth shut and not do anything. Yeah, like like that is. I can understand that because obviously, like, quite a lot of people are scared of confrontation. Yeah. Um, until you get like, like I used to be, I used to be really scared of that until I realised like, confrontation isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, like it, it's as long as you can manage your emotions, then it's not necessarily a bad. Because if you have a confrontation, uh, say we like strongly disagreed on something, you put your point forward, I put my point forward. And we still disagree. As adults, how you should deal with that is like, okay, well, we disagree. Yeah. Like, let's just agree to disagree. And that's fine. Um, but then, if you're dealing with a, a someone that is just a dickhead and just says, like, just the most outrageous stuff just to get the reaction. Yeah, like, yeah. like, or, or they say stuff like, cause, like, they clearly don't mean it. Uh, when people say like, um, like, oh, like, I don't understand how you could be attracted to men. That's that's. A disgusting it's an exit uh, not an entrance and it's uh adam and eve not adam and steve like that doesn't mean anything they don't actually think that they're parroting some nonsense they've heard and they don't just have trying to be funny point to make. so there's no point in engaging with that there is no point because I, I, they're not willing to listen so there's no point in wasting your time uh, trying to educate them so I, I, you can make your point if they keep on saying that a dumb shit just whatever wait until they grow up and try again but i don't think like dragging people cancelling people or, like I don't think that's productive. It's like counter. Yeah. I think it. I mean, yeah. in some ways it works. Like what's called, like in some bad, like really bad situations, I can see it. Mod, like the rice gum situation in like twenty seventeen, that like moderately worked. Is it, uh, what do you do? Did, is it, um, this is that when you hit, that, you hit Gabby or something. Uh, yeah, that and um, what's called the um, like live stream thing. <coughs> From ages, oh, what's called like that moderately uh, works. That like stopped him in his tracks, but. In other ways, it's like sometimes yeah. it just brings attention to people that d shouldn't deserve the attention in the first place. Yeah, and there's no point. It, like obviously, like even with that, uh, what you said was insensitive. Shitty thing to say. Yeah, but like, like how bad is what he said? Like, obviously, it's a dicky thing to say. I wouldn't do it. I don't think he should have said it. But he was just but, like, like a dumb teen like, at the time. Like, like not even that. Like I'm not even trying to make. For him, like, I, like I, 
I condemn it too. I, I think that's a, that's not a good thing to have done. But like, like what you, s I understand people call him out on it and saying like, you shouldn't have said this, mate. This is that was a fucked up, really insensitive, shitty thing to say. I understand that. Yeah. Um, but then if you're like, oh, cancelling, delete this, oh, deplatforming, shut up. Like, it, it, like it, it's this mad level of entitlement to me, in my opinion, to think that anyone has got. Like, I don't want people to reply to tweets and uh, delete this. Like, that sort of, like, entitlement. But no, fuck off. Like, mute me or block me. Like, no one's asking you to look at my tweets. Like, what's it called? It's just, you can look at what you want, but that doesn't mean that you can control what I do, in a way. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like uh, I understand, like, there's, uh, there's things that I don't like to see. There's things that I see, and I know it's going to put me in a bad mood. But then if I see that, I mute it, and I don't see it again. Like, uh, like... It's like people I who go know. on YouTube, and, like, what's it called? Let's say, for example, they see a, um, Call of Duty video, then they go and comment it saying, wow, you're still playing Call of Duty, why are you doing this? It's like, if they don't like the game, why do they click on the video in the first place just to say, yeah. why are you doing it? It's like... It just seems like a waste of both people's times. Yeah, it's, like where does that come from? What is the reason behind somebody doing that? Like, uh, clicking on a Call of Duty video and saying, "Why aren't you playing Battlefield?" Just go and watch the like, Battlefield video. Yeah, it saves everyone time. Like, uh, like, well, like, I get if it's like if it's if something that is trying to incite uh, violence or incite hate, or if uh, there's something where uh, uh, someone is clearly trying to motivate people and dog whistle people into doing things that will make a lot of people upset then i can understand more, yeah especially if they've got like if they've got an audience but if they just say an opinion or something that you don't agree with then it doesn't really matter you should just ignore it and move on y yeah I, I, that's a you problem yeah like like because like, i understand like in my circle of friends like I disagree with everybody on some, and there's uh, some of them I disagree on pretty, pretty big, uh, fundamental things. Uh, uh, but we still get on because it doesn't matter. Like it, it's uh, the behaviours in the character. Like I don't care what people think at all. Like I, like I, I, I don't care what you think on either side of any kind. I only care about how people think and why they think, like why they think the way that they do. So. If you're homophobic, I don't care. Be homophobic. It doesn't affect me. Like, I, like, I do whatever you want. I, I don't care. But what's your reason for feeling the way you feel? Do you feel homophobic because you were brought up around like toxic masculinity where you have to beat your chest and drink beers and like fanny and all of that stuff? Is, 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 is that why you're homophobic? Because uh, when I was like 14, 15, I used to tell people I was homophobic. I used to tell, like, I literally, I, like, uh, I remember I was in, like, a, uh, like, a humanities lesson once, in, like, yeah, nine or ten or something, and we were talking about it, and I put my hand up and said that I'm homophobic, and the teacher said, like, she asked me, basically, what I just said, like, why, why, and, 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 and uh, the truth was, because I was attracted uh, to some guys, and I was scared of it, and, so you're trying to, like, like cover it up by going too yeah. far the other way. Yeah, yeah, like totally overthreatening and trying to cover up. No, I like beers and fight with fans. Me, like, I don't like all these. Like, like I, I don't have a crush on Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy or Brendan Willie from Panic at the Disco and that. Like, like uh, I'm not into emo boys and just like all of this, this, this stuff. So my reason for thinking that was was stupid. It wasn't a good reason. Um, I'm not sure what a good reason would be. Uh, would be maybe if like say your entire life you've had nothing but like awful interactions like you've been a super unfortunate guy and when you're a kid and you get abused by an openly gay man that's a close a family friend and if you get older something else happens it's just over and over again you keep having these negative super negative scarring experiences then it's like it's understandable like, it's still not good but it's yeah, understandable exactly yeah exactly i'm not i'm not saying it justifies it but it does make me understand it it's like if um if someone's bit by a dog, you keep getting bit by dogs. You're gonna be scared of all dogs. Um, like it, like I can understand uh, more then. And then because I can, I can understand as long as you're not being a dick about it. Like uh, you can have your ideas and your prejudices, and whatever else. But like don't force them on others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the same with like 
in anything. Like just like if you don't like somebody's life choices, then don't fucking speak on it. Either. Like it, it, like just keep quiet to yourself. It doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to get out there and get in people's faces. This got very deep very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Jesus. This is. It was cool. It's understandable though. Like I understand what you're on about. Yeah, it's important though. It's, yeah. It's, it's important, but yeah, that's what that essentially to box that bit off. That's why I stay away from social media because it's it's just it's all nonsense in an echo chamber. It's not good for anyone. Nothing good ever comes of it. It's just a little like lots of negative. like ingenuine people. Yeah, and and just seeing that annoys me. And then it also it takes away from like how amazing life is. Life is great, man. Like even even when you're having a hard time, like say I go back to my first uh, video thing. Was a yeah, the first tire is a failure thing. Yeah, so I was clearly having a real hard time. Yeah. Um. And that's what I was focusing on. I was focusing on the fact that I had no money. I was struggling with with loads of other things at the same time. That's all I was focusing on. But then, like, if I could have snapped out of it for a bit to realize, like, yeah, I was run down and depressed and stuff. But like, I can see, I can hear, I can speak. Can I'm independent. Yeah, uh, I can walk. All my limbs work. I've I've got no. Uh, touch wood uh, that I know of, like terminal illnesses uh, going on inside me or anything, um, and my kids are healthy, I had food, like, it, it wasn't a lot of food, but I still had some, uh, had a roof over my head, like, there's always, like, bright sides to everything, yeah, like, yeah. like, if you just, if you just be uh, more mindful, I think mindfulness has helped me massively, actually taking a step back and looking at the situation and going, like, wow, like, this is, this could be a whole lot worse. Like focusing on the negatives just get you negatives. Yeah, it literally does. And it, it, it's weird. Like I'm not into any like spiritual mumbo jumbo or anything like that. Like, yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong. I just have a theory of it. But there definitely is something to like uh, the law of attraction and like the power of positivity. And, and mindsets, yeah. Yeah, and it uh, and it seems it seems super strange. And obviously, like. I just doubled down on that and stuck into it. I kept on making these videos and I was editing on my breaks in between my two jobs. I was working like literally seven days a week for ages. Like, it, like nine nine months out of year, just every single day. Um, crafting, editing and videos in between the breaks. And then obviously I got a massive payout all in once. And I got into logistics. Um, just right place, right time with the right foundation and put uh, down beforehand. You know, I got into KSI like Sister and then Absolutely it smashed it. And it went crazy. Like, mate, that was... Yeah, I remember, I 20, remember that. Yeah, 2019 was insane. It was like... The, but, like, in 2019, I got everything out of YouTube I ever wanted to get out of. I, I, I've got a silver plaque on my wall, which I wanted. I met a bunch of uh, YouTubers. Some really surprised me, and some let me down. Um, like, the kind of don't make me heroes thing. Yeah. But I've met, like, I've met some people, like, some of the most genuine people I've met just in my life, uh, I never mind just uh, through YouTube, it's like uh, Dan Bull, uh, Daz Black, Nico, um, uh, Jack, uh, Jack Bates. Yeah. Um, like, they're just such sound, genuine people. And, and like, I've been watching them for years, so meeting those guys, it's a real. Uh, same as KSI and all the side men, super, super sound guys, really nice guys. Con, lovely guy, the rest of the Fate of Squad, like, I'm not shocked at that. All, all super sound, and and then I had all these mad experiences. I uh, I couldn't uh, go anywhere without people asking to take photos with me, and I, uh, I got mobbed at VidCon, and, and I had all of this like crazy shit happening. And then like I'm going into restaurants, and uh, someone at work they recognise me. I get my meal uh, for free if I put it on my Instagram. I'm like fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And I had all of these like crazy experiences, but then towards like the, at the end of summer in 2019, I was like, tired. Out. Yeah, because it just like, got too much after a while. Yeah, just like all of these people I've never met have all got these opinions of what I should and shouldn't be doing. And, and then I'm getting shit because I've said this and I'm getting shit because I haven't said this. And then. Yeah, well, like, like I said, yeah, yeah, again, it's like another lose lose situation. It's like you either get 
what's called told what to do or you're told that you haven't done something and it's like yeah. you can't really win yeah and then there's a lot of um, other creators that when I blew up they they couldn't get their tongue tied up my ass and then yeah. as soon as things started to slip they just went they and he went the other way and started like sort of ride in the second you clout of giving you shit um, and like like I'm not gonna drop any like names or anything yeah names or inside it yeah cause there's no there's, drama right there's, there. yeah exactly like like I don't wanna get any, to get any drama no, no like, YouTube beef <laughs> yeah no YouTube beef but there's a bunch of people that they put themselves out as this like super accepting like super liberal like I'm such a nice person I'm such a this blah blah and then behind closed doors they're a bit of a cunt like and uh, and it's more than just they're a bit impolite or stuff like I see them like actively snaking each other and then as soon as the person that they were talking bad about walks into the room they're like oh my god hi and it's like what so I'm supposed to expect that like you're uh, you're bitching to everybody uh, you're how bad you me. are but yeah, but what's it called like so like so i'm supposed to expect that they're a bitch into me about everybody but then uh, when i leave the room they're not bitching to everybody about me that just that seems a bit mad it's like what's um, called like high school girl mentality like it's just <laughs> yeah man literally literally it's, it's, it's all super clicky and that and just yeah i'm not i'm not a fan of that it's basically like if you don't follow the popular opinion and whether it's right or wrong, and people have straight up admitted to me that they've, they have uh, said things, we've even made videos on things they don't agree with because we, it's like, just the right thing. Out. Yeah, people will like click on it and they'll agree with yeah. them. Yeah, because it gets the interaction, it gets clicks. And that, like, I don't know, that doesn't sit right with me. I, like, uh, I had this uh, illusion that people were the way that they like, acted, but yeah, it's different. Come across in their videos. Because I am, like, like, uh, like, or as close as I can. Obviously, in real life, I don't jump about like a dickhead. Like, 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 yeah, yeah. No, like, what's it called like a like mini persona just to be like more hyperactive and stuff and more easy to watch. Yeah, it, 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 it's just like me in like uh, like I've done a, a, a lot of like videos where I just level with you, like Kiwa Tom and stuff. Yeah, that, that's that's a good. It. And that's like that is how I am. That's how my friends see me. It's how I behave. It's how I speak. It's like I understand that there's been a few uh, videos that I've made that were a bit more YouTube-y, which is just more like me in a good mood, yeah. Like or like in like a really good mood, like I turn it up a bit and I put it on a bit because it's more it's more entertaining, isn't it? But then I'll be like that if I'm with certain friends. Um, so it's not really then, a, like a fake persona. It's just you it's being just you. An, yeah, it, it's just maybe at at best it's like an, uh, an exaggerated. A version yeah. of, of, a, of a particular mood that I'm in. But it's it's not like I come on and say, like, I don't know, you should be vegan and, and, uh, and uh, you should only use vegetables. And, and be off camera, and, like, you go and, like, eat a steak or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, which which that is, like, that is literally uh, the differences uh, that I've seen. And, like, there's, I've seen people that, uh, like, they make uh, videos uh, condemning certain types of behaviors. And they do it themselves. Yeah. And then they do it. No, nah, that's why it was cool. That's why like some people like you, including me, was cool just because you're so genuine on it. Yeah, I like I hear that a lot, and I appreciate it loads. But I don't. My problem is, there's not a lot of people like that. Like, like I do have a super loyal core of just a fucking legend, man. They turn up to my stream, turn up to every video. They support everything that I put out. Yeah. And and uh, they know they can disagree with me, right? Like I've had uh, messages after loads of. A video uh, where people say they didn't agree with what I said here, or or they wanted me to further explain on this and that and blah blah. And like, I've got a Discord a server, and and we have big long talks. And sometimes they all disagree with me, and sometimes uh, they don't. But it's but they it's can fine. take it for what it is, and not like go off and cancel you behind what's called if yeah. like they disagree with you once. It's they take it as it is. You can have a discussion about it, and then it's back to normal. Like yeah, like it 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 doesn't matter. If if you don't think the same as someone, like it, like it shouldn't be is uh, divisive 
is it is all the time. So like, I've got this super loyal core who appreciate, like you said, the fact that I'm as genuine as I can be. Um, obviously, there's sometimes I'm angry enough to rain it. Like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm putting this on the internet. Like, I, 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 I you want to put you like full anger out there. Yeah, that's it. Like, it's, uh, that's, yeah, that would be a good thing to do. But like, I've got a super loyal court who appreciate that fact. And then they turn up to my streams and they donate, and they're how I get by. Stuff like that. And my main source of income comes from uh, live streaming and, yeah. um, and uh, like, uh, help, like, helping people uh, write songs and change things. And that, like, that's how, like, because uh, videos, like, yeah. They still bring some money in. But just not, um, like, that much that you can, like, sustain yeah. off of. Yeah, not enough uh, to live off. Um, and, like, because my CPM shit at the moment, I swear. Um, yeah. Uh, and, like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, but I would rather have, I would rather have 40, 50 people that I can just totally be myself with and, and, and they like and support that. Then three hundred thousand people where I have to pretend to be something I'm not. That would yeah, it's like that, like like old sort of thing in school. It's like, would you rather have one really good friend or a few really good friends or be friends with everyone, but it's all disingenuous. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, you can have like uh, I uh, uh, I call it friends and mates. So I like I've got a few friends, proper friends, and then I've got loads of them. yeah. Like uh, like I, I I've got loads of. It's like the difference between like work mates and then like actual mates. Yeah, like so, like uh, say my friends. Uh, I know the people that are my friends. I I could call them and say, mate, I'm in an awful mood. I don't know why. I'm upset. I've, I've just had a panic attack and I feel grim and I can't turn it off. And they'll be like, okay, man, like let's talk it out. Is everything okay? And they'll be there. Whereas if I spoke to a mate, it would be more like. Have you seen the new episode of The Boys? On yeah, like they just like change the subject and not actually just, care yeah. that much. Just like, just kind of small talk things. Like, but, uh, yeah, but I would much rather have like a small, small, loyal core than have uh, my channel be the way it was at its peak where I would get like hundreds of thousands of views, but I have to pretend to be something yeah. I'm not, or uh, I have to jump through certain hoops. Because like, I didn't start a YouTube to make a career out of it. That wasn't my ambition, that wasn't my goal at all. Um, uh, and then I get uh, people uh, say, "Oh no, you should just stick to music. You should do this. Oh, oh you can't." Just do what you want. Uh, yeah, I, I like just doing what I want. What I've, what I've been doing the whole time. Uh, the only time that I didn't was when you blew up. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's uh, the only time. Like uh, the videos I enjoyed doing most then was I did the vlogs, um, and I enjoyed doing the Friday freestyle. Those uh, are good they were fun. Yeah, I like them. Um, but then it, it kind of gets uh, to a point like, they get uh, bored I know of them. the, yeah, I get bored of them. Like, I know the freestyles are when they're new, and you haven't really seen it before. It's like, oh wow, this is fucking sick. This is really entertaining. How then once it's like cool? every single thing, it's just kind of, they get repetitive. Yeah, yeah and and I, and I feel even when I'm doing like, there's sometimes I'll do a freestyle on my guitar or with a beat, and and I and I'm not being arrogant or anything, but I know it's good. yeah, like uh, like and. Uh, and I'm I, like straight after I'm like that was sick. I want to listen to it again and write some of that down. Because I'm really getting proud of that. But then uh, there's other ones that I do, and while I'm doing it, I'm just like this is so sick, so boring. Uh, but then people respond to it really well. Like, oh, that was amazing. I said, yeah, for you it was. And like it might sound well, it is selfish, which is why it, it might sound selfish. But like I started my channel for me. Like that's why I did it. If other people have benefits from my channel. If it entertains them, if it helps them get through a hard time, if it helps them look at things in a different way, fantastic. That's amazing. But that's not the goal of my channel. Like it's mainly for you, I, and if other people enjoy it, then that's like a good side effect. Yeah, it's a fantastic bonus, and I'm very happy that happened. And I get a lot of messages. I got a load after my meditation video. Loads of people tried to meditate, and uh, and, and and I got literally like. Like about 30, 40 different people all messaging me saying uh, they tried it, it's helped massively, and it's changed the way they're thinking, and just the way I I put it all across was really like just yeah that was a very long way video like it was very good. Uh, thank you. I, no problem. I, I, I I appreciate that, but I would rather have like that genuine interaction. Like I understand the value of the individual, 
So when there's people, it happens quite a lot uh, when I'm live streaming now, that I've got 300k subs and there's only 30 people that, uh, in this seat. But it's like, it's better to have people. 30 good, like, imagine standing up in front of 30 people and talking. Like, 30 people is a lot of fucking people, yeah. man. Like, like, if you, if you imagine how important you are to yourself, right? Like, you're the centre of your own universe, right? Yeah. All 30 of these other people are the same. They're the same as you. They think, they have desires, they have needs, they have dreams, they have insecurities. They have all of these things. I would rather have a genuine interaction and genuine uh, uh, connection with 30 people than just... Uh, like a have... mediocre thing with thousands. Yeah, where it's just... And they're, just like, and they're just shouting at me constantly. Like, mate, at a few live streams I did just after I blew up. Just, I'll sing about this, sing about this, sing about that, do this. Just Just noise. This and then, as, I, and then as soon as I said, right, like, I've been, I've been gone for 45 minutes now, I'm going to stop and have a drink and have a rest. We go from 1,200 people watching down to 400. Like, so, it kind of feels a bit like fucking dance. Dance monkey dance, otherwise you just get gone. Yeah, it's, 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 but like, yeah, I understand. Like, every single time I get a comment or I get a message, like, like whether it's... A DM or a tweet where or someone tweeting said, saying like, come on the podcast for uh, how many but, days? <laughs> yeah, like just just those individual interactions and like uh, and I know how happy that can make uh, somebody. Yeah, like make someone's day. Feel like uh, like and then like and you get that a uh, connection with them. Like I'm not gonna and, lie, like, I I was fanboying. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> mate, I understand it. I yeah. remember when. Jack mate said that I could go on happy hour. I was like, but mate, I was hopping all over the place. And now you've got the it, better it, version, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah it, it, it's just, it's a fantastic feeling. So if I can give that to people, great. I would much rather have a genuine impact on 10 people's lives than have 100,000 people watch me and go, hmm, Meh. that was alright. Yeah. Like, so, like, that's my motivation. I don't care about clout, I don't care about fame. I don't care about money. I need to make enough to get by, obviously. Um, but like, I'm not greedy. I don't want a Lambo. Like, uh, like I'm happy with my 2004 Honda Civic. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like uh, yeah, man. I, I'm, uh, I'm very mindful. It's like being so su successful to the point of yet yeah, that you can get by and that you can be all right, but not so much as like you can't come anywhere without being recognised and it's just fair. Yeah, I just, like all I've ever wanted, mate, is to be financially stable. I grew up poor. I was in like bad situation after bad situation after fucking over. All I wanted was to be in a position where like you if I want to get takeaway, much. I don't have to wait till Friday. I don't have to wait till payday to get a takeaway. I can order a pizza right now. Like like that like that's that's the level of all all I want to do is not have to think about me and not have to look at the prices I want to order food. That's that is that's the level it, yeah. of rich or successful that I want to be. Anything more than that, I don't care. Mate, I might die tomorrow. What's the point? It's just money for the sake of money, but it like, doesn't really. Yeah, I'm not going to spend my time worrying about things that might never happen, which uh, tomorrow might never happen. Yeah. It's just relative to everything. Yeah. It is. It is 100%. Isn't it? And just like, I like people. Which is why I don't like social media. Social media makes me fucking hate people. But like, it doesn't matter what the interaction is. I'm pretty good at dealing with people in real life because, I, like, I'm nice. Ask anybody that's met me, mate. I'm a nice guy. Like, I, like, I, I, I know how to make people stop feeling uncomfortable. Uh, like, I don't mind being uh, the bunt of a joke or yeah, like just like a people a person. Yeah. I'm good at it. So uh, when I meet people, even people that seem super unreasonable, like I can get some sense out of them. I, like I'm good at getting past people's egos when I'm talking in real life. But when but, but when you're like behind a screen, it's very it's a lot different. Yeah, and it's all like it's all performative. It's all so like just a persona, like, just a like it's a kind of like um like are uh, they saying things to get more like to get more interactions and. And to, and to make everything an us versus them sort of thing. Where it's in real life, that doesn't happen. If you make eye contact with anybody who's talking nonsense, and then you say, like, look, mate, 
Like, I can tell this is your ego talking. I'm not trying to upset you. I don't think any less of you. Like, I'm just trying to have a conversation. You just be honest out, out with myself. It's very hard to get past me when somebody that behaves that way when without just screen. doubling down on being a dick. Yeah. Like, so, like, I love people. I love interacting with everybody that I've ever met through this YouTube show. Like, 99% of the interactions have been fantastic. But then, for some reason, I go onto social media and everyone's like little goblins. It's like, what's it called? Like, it's like gremlins. It's like you feed them after midnight and then they're <laughs> yeah. just completely different. <laughs> it is strange. It is. It's super strange. Yeah, yeah it's a big difference. Oh. We've been going for 45 minutes. I'm, su I'm surprised. <laughs> I've got about 20 minutes left to breathe, so if you have any other questions, I'll stop waffling about how much it is. No, I think that's what's cool. I think I should probably end it there, to be fair. Yeah. Because I've not that got that much space. Okay, no problem. Okay, so, um, well, thank you a lot, really. That's all I've really got to say. This has been very, very good. I've enjoyed this. And You're very welcome, mate. I've enjoyed this, too. Aw, wholesome content. So yeah, thanks a lot, and um, I hope I see someone else who who watching this um next time. I'm not good at intros and outros. This is why I get someone else to do it. Bye. <laughs>